right, today we're gonna bring a projector and this comes with a bunch of little accessories. You got the remote, you get an actual AVI cable, which is an analog cable. Um, you, this is old technology, but it still connects. Then you get an HDMI cable and then you get a tripod. So we're gonna set this up. We're gonna test out some of the features and we're gonna test it out on a PlayStation 5, see how well it works. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, when you get greeted, you, you get no devices right now. This is a USB. You can plug in a USB with AVI, um, uh, MP4s, pretty much setting up your USB. You could carry all your movies, music, and play it through there. So you connect it and it'll automatically identify it. HDMI, this is a cable you can connect your computer, laptop, um, pretty much a DVD player, anything you want, you can connect to there using the DVD, uh, using the HDMI connection. Mirror, this is, you, you can play your iOS or you can mirror your Droid. AV connection, this is the analog lines, then music, movies, and photos. But today we're gonna go into screen mirror and set up the actual system and configure the system. So when you're looking for a mirror, this is the option. You get a Droid, you get um, iOS, which is Apple, and then Wi-Fi settings, of course, all right? So we are gonna set up on our Wi-Fi settings so we can actually either connect, but this is another option you could do. We could do, these are the easiest ones. All right, so we're gonna connect with our Droid, and they give you instructions how to connect this. So you can connect either a Droid or iPhone, um in the beginning they give you step by step how to do this so this is how you connect to your actual droid from here we have the light on if you guys can see i'm mimicking my i'm marrying my actual phone so we're gonna put my phone down play minecraft in here so let's take a look at the quality of the actual video itself uh, we're running a 4K, and this is not a 4K projector, but the quality of it, let me zoom in so you guys can see it, it's really, really good. Look at that. And this is portable. You pretty much take this anywhere you want. Um, there's only one button here that you really have to worry about. And the control is very self-explanatory. It's all right, we just turned on the PlayStation 5. We're gonna change the source. So let's go and change source. Or we could just go in here, devices. But we're gonna go source. Go ahead and start. Say okay. So we are on PlayStation 5, if you guys can see that. And audio-wise, let's put the volume up higher. So it's a little loud, it's perfect. It's in, in the noise is coming out of the fan, but that's pretty much it. You're not gonna hear from where I am standing. So let's go ahead and do a test to see the quality of it. Let's test out the colors. Um, look at how beautiful the colors look on the actual screen. And I don't have that much lights in here, but you could, details are super fine. I'm actually zooming in because I don't want to put the camera in the shadow in there. But you can see, and right now I have like a 55 inch TV, but if I put this further back, and this also back, it, you can make it a larger as 98 inches, almost 80 inches, uh, 80 to 90 inches, depends on, on further back you have the system. All right, let's test it out. Let's go play a little bit. All right, that's pretty much does the demo that we have. The audio is really good on the actual um, projector. And the size you want to project is how further back you have it. So very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.